Today, the new D2C Dinagon Alley was revealed, and it looks amazing. It is very, very beautiful. You get 14 minifigures, well, technically 15, but we'll get into that later. Your first minifigure is Harry here, with a new face, same hair piece, um, new torso, and just plain dark brown short legs. Now, knowing Lego, they use the same three Gryffindor robes for all three of the main characters, which I guess is fine, but it's a little lazy, but it's something that we're used to with Lego. The face prints on Ron and Hermione are the same, as well as their hair pieces. Um, Hermione comes with reddish-brown short legs, and Ron comes with these um, light blue short legs. Next is Draco and Lucius Malfoy. Draco has the same face and hair that he had in the Great Hall, and he has a new torso print um, that's really similar to the ones in the CMF Series 1. And although it would make this... Um, Print less exclusive and less rare. Um, I would like to see this in something cheaper so that you can get multiple of them. And if I'm being honest, Lucius, uh, the face, the reuse of Loki's face just, it doesn't work. I mean, it kind of does, it kind of does, but I really just would have preferred um, a new face print. The one in the um, original Diagon Alley is much better than this one here. Lucius also has um, the Dumbledore slash Centaur hairpiece now in a bright yellow and uh, a new torso print and I believe the legs are the same from like the Star Wars slash Harry Potter. The twins look pretty much perfect. I mean, they honestly do. They use the same hairpiece that they used in their original versions now, I believe their face prints are different than the CMF Series 2. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're new. And their outfits are pretty much um, identical to the originals, except in a different color now, which I think is more accurate. Both Molly and Ginny have um, a new torso print, but um, their face prints are reuses. Uh, Molly's is the same that was used in Attack on the Burrow, which is a reuse from another set. And I still think her hairpiece is a little off, but I, I do think it's okay. And Ginny's face is a reuse from Great Hall. Um, Susan Bones, I think. Bonds? Maybe Susan Bonds? I don't know. It's either Susan Bones or Bonds. I think it's Bonds. But anyways, it's a reuse. And um, once again, just like in... Attack on the Burrow, Molly's um, dress piece has no printing on it whatsoever. In my opinion, the best minifigure from this set is Gilderly Lockhart. He has a new face print, and the hair piece is not new, but it does fit. A new torso print, no printing on the legs, unfortunately, and a nice cape piece. Um, we haven't seen Gilderly Lockhart since the Chamber of Secrets came out back in 2002. There's not been a single minifigure of him since then. And actually, there hasn't been a minifigure um, with an actual skin tone besides yellow since that, which is really, really crazy. I hope we see um, another outfit of him in some other sets. I'm still crossing my fingers for a Chamber of Secrets set, even though it's like super unlikely. I'm still crossing my fingers. It can still happen. I know it can. But anyways, this minifigure is really great. Next up is Ollivander. Um, Ollivander has been seen um, recently, actually, um, in the micro-scale Diagon Alley. But this is a different version of him. Different face print and different torso. Um, the hair piece is the same. In this, he's smiling. I'll compare it with the, um, I think it was 2018 one. Um, right here. Um, the other one wasn't smiling, and uh, the print on his torso is pretty much identical. I think it is identical, except with different colors. In the original, it was brown, and here it is a dark red. But still, this is a really great minifigure, too. Next is Florian Fortescue. <laughs> I think this will be the most obscure character that we will ever get in Harry Potter. If you don't know who this is, I don't blame you. Um, 
I'm going to be honest, I have not read the Harry Potter books. I really want to. I've only seen the movies, but I really do um, want to read them. But anyways, um, apparently he is more relevant in the books than he is in the movies. I don't think he ever even has a line in the movies. So if you've only seen the movies, you don't know who this is. And neither do I really. All I know is that he owns an ice cream shop. But still, um, pretty nice minifigure. Next up, we have the Daily Prophet reporter here, and as you can see, he uses um, Scarecrow's um, hair hat combo piece from um, Batman. <laughs> I think that's really, really cool. New face, um, new torso, um, short, um, light blue legs, it looks like. Um, same as Ron, I believe. He also comes with the camera, but on this picture, he does not have it. Next up is Hagrid. This is the same Hagrid that we have um, seen in the Think 2 sets. He came in um, Great Hall and um, Hagrid's Hut, Buckbeak Rescue or something like that. Um, same minifigure, but this is not the last minifigure. Although it may seem like it is, it is not. So, I said earlier that there are 15 figures, and I've only went over 14. Well, that's because when you get this set, there is a secret bag. Well, it's a box, but it's bag 21, and if you open it, you get this. The Harry that we saw leaked, um, a, he's here. He's in this set. I thought he was um, a leaked figure for next year's wave. But then again, I was like, that's really early for a leak. But still, he's in this set. And there's a really cool print there, as you can see. Um, it says, Welcome Harry to Diagon Alley. Now, I'm just going to talk about the set itself briefly, because I do want to save a lot of my thoughts on it for when I actually do make a review on it. And unfortunately, that will probably not be until next summer, because, I mean, this is a huge set. And I'm not planning on getting it tomorrow when it releases, but still we can take a look at these screenshots here of in the inside of the buildings. And they look really amazing. As you can see here, there's a new um, piece for the box of the wand. And I'm so excited to finally have a Weasley Wizard Weezes. It looks so amazing. So this is definitely one of my favorite sets of all time. And I just think it's really amazing. It looks absolutely beautiful. But anyways, that is my thoughts for this new DTC Diagon Alley. It is going to be coming out tomorrow for $400 with, I think, around 5,500 pieces. Somewhere around there. So, as I said, this releases tomorrow. But what also releases tomorrow is the Harry Potter Series 2 CMF Series as well as the buildable Hedwig, which is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Um, I don't plan on getting the buildable Hedwig, and of course not this, but I do hope to get some in the series too, if my target has them. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Goodbye. <laughs>